Hello, my name is Allison Carmen, and welcome to my podcast, 10 Minutes to Less Suffering. Today, I want to talk to you about when we get so fixated on how we think something needs to be, that we can miss opportunities that are right in front of us. And this happens to so many of us sometimes, and we can have the best intentions regarding our businesses or work or a friendship, and we don't see that we're building these stories around our lives because it makes us feel safe. We want to know how we look at the world and how we decide to do things every day is the right decision. And this just happened to one of my friends a couple of months ago. He has an autoimmune disease and he's been doing a great job reducing his stress and meditating and taking really good care of himself. And he believed if he continued on this route, he would get better. But over time, a lot of his symptoms were not going away and he went to the doctor. And when he went to the doctor, the doctor offered him a treatment. And my friend is very into alternative therapies and going the holistic route. So he was really upset when he spoke to this doctor because this treatment would be medicine and it would be infusions once every eight weeks. And he didn't know what to do because it's not how he thought it was going to be. He believed that he'd be able to do these alternative therapies and get totally better. And when he called me to discuss it, it reminded me of a story that I actually put in the gift of maybe. And the story goes like this. A flood came and a man had to climb onto the roof of his house. As the waters rose, a neighbor in a rowboat appeared and told him to get in. No, replied the man on the roof, the Lord will save me. Then a firefighter appeared in a speedboat. Climb in, shouted the firefighter. No, replied the man on the roof, the Lord will save me. A helicopter appeared and the pilot shouted that he would lower a rope to the man on the roof. No, replied the man on the roof, the Lord will save me. Eventually, the man drowned and went to heaven. When he asked God why he hadn't helped him, God shrugged. I sent a neighbor, a firefighter, a helicopter. What more do you want? And I shared this story with my friend. And it really gave him pause because maybe the doctor was the helicopter. It didn't mean all the things that he'd been doing for himself weren't wonderful because he felt less stressed. He felt more peace but he needed more help. And I'm so happy to say a few months later from these treatments, he's actually feeling better. He just told me the other day he feels more like himself than he has in years. And who knows what's going to happen next, but this is such a new beginning for him. And it was only his stuckness or belief that things had to be a certain way that didn't allow him to see something that was in front of him. When we get fixed on something, it's usually based on yesterday, not the moment that we're in. And it's when we could start to see each moment as new, each moment as a new beginning. That's when things really start to shift for us. That's when we can get a sense of all these new things that are coming to us. We could actually see them because we're not stuck saying, I don't do that or that's not for me. We come to each moment so fresh and so open and so available that we don't miss one opportunity. And it's so understandable. We all do this again because we want to feel safe. We want to know who we are and what we like and what we believe in and what our businesses are about and what our jobs are about. It just makes us feel like we have a handle on life. But we forget that life's also about creating and nothing stays the same. And so as life changes, we need to change with life. And it also makes life so much more exciting to think there are always new possibilities always new things coming in. We don't want to get stale. We don't want life to feel stale. So how can we be so open that we allow life to keep changing and we don't feel afraid and we don't feel worried and we feel inspired and excited and we always see the neighbor or the firefighter or the helicopter when it comes our way? And the first thing is to be aware of it. The most important thing is to check in with yourself and see if you're clinging to something, some idea of who you are and why you need to see it that way. And what would happen if you loosened your grip a little bit about how you're seeing what you're capable of, how you're seeing your life, loosened your grip a little bit on your job or the future and see really what's around you, see what the moment is offering you. And even if everything seems the same, just say, I am willing and open to see this differently. 
and be really aware of what's going on around you. Have you heard an inspiring story? Have you seen a new product? Is there a class that interests you? Has someone made you an offer about something? Before you say no, think about the maybe. Just for a moment, contemplate. Maybe I could see this differently. Maybe how I'm doing things is not so great, or maybe it just needs to change. Or maybe I should consider what that person is saying. Maybe I want to go out and look for a new product line or a new career opportunity. Just keep that openness. There are so many things around us that are calling to us, whispering to us that there's a new path, a new way. And we don't want to turn our back on that. And I'm so happy that my friend is doing so well. And he says the story of the man on his roof had a lot to do with the decision that he made. Because he didn't see that he was being rescued. Because it didn't look like he thought it would. But the minute he opened up to it, he was really able to see that, that he needed more help. And it allowed him to take that help and to now be feeling better. So what's ever happening in your life today, this awareness will really help you. Now, whether or not you decide to make a change or take a new opportunity, that's up to you. And that's when you really need to connect deep within yourself, deep into your authentic self and see what your desire truly is. What does your authentic self want? What's alive in you? What will enrich your life? But in order to even see that possibility or that opportunity, we need to constantly let go of who we think we are, what we think our life's about, what we think our businesses are about. It's not that we forget the wisdom, but we let go of the past so we're able to be so present in this moment and not be grabbing to the way things were yesterday, especially also in this pandemic. Things are changing so quickly that we don't want to miss an opportunity. So we just want to make sure that we're not clinging, we're not attaching to ideas that make us feel safe, but at the same time, these ideas are crowding us. They're limiting us. The world is so vast. And we just want to remember to stay open to get those opportunities. And sometimes something is looking us right in the face and we can't see it because it's so new. So remind yourself when something is new, maybe pause, spend a little more time with it. And over time, it might be an opening to a new life, a new way. Life is always filled with new possibilities. We just stop seeing them because we'd rather be safe than open to what is possible, what we're capable of. Every time in my life that I have chosen certainty over possibility, I have limited myself again and again and again. And so many times I've been standing on that roof demanding things to be different than they are. But that does not serve us. And it doesn't allow us to take the help or the opportunity or the possibility when it was right in front of our face. And believe me, like I said, I've been there so many times. But when we take that chance, we're willing to see something new, we're willing to see it differently. Sometimes we are walking towards our destiny, towards our true desire. So remember that story when you're starting to feel stuck and you don't know which way to turn. There might be something right in front of you and it might not be what you expected and it might not even be what you wanted, but it still could be what's best and it could still be the path to a better life, to a new experience or to something you can't even imagine. Always remember uncertainty is your best friend because if you want your life to change, it has to happen in the unknown. Life keeps changing and that's a good thing. And always remember, maybe the best is yet to come. Thank you for listening to this podcast today. If you'd like to get in touch with me, you could email me at allison at allisoncarmen.com. If you'd like to buy my book, The Gift of Maybe, it's available at all major bookstores and online retailers. And if you like this podcast, you could subscribe and leave a comment.